this is Dr. Sadek and today we are discussing object detection using TensorFlow. Also, we are implementing this project in window environment, in window operating system. I have divided this uh, project into multiple videos to make it easy for you, to make it interesting for you. Like for example, if we compile and implement all these things in a single video, it will be quite boring for you. And uh, that's why I have skipped some installation and uh, compilation. I will show you how to compile and how to install. Second thing, it will be easy for those, uh, like for example, if someone know how to install TensorFlow, how to compile, different libraries and he, he or she want to, to start from the CUDA and CU DNN libraries then it will be easy for them or if someone directly start from the coding of object detection so it will be easy for them so that's why I have divided object detection using TensorFlow into multiple videos second thing we have different deep learning models like RCNN faster RCNN and uh, the mo mobile net but here we will focus only on mobile mobile net so once you learn how to install uh, different libraries and how to implement mobile net then you it will be easy for you to implement other other models other deep learning button and it will also be easy for you to to customize that model and uh, you can give your own input and your own labels because it's a pre-trained model so we will download from the github and we will install that so for that I have divided this lecture into seven different videos and in the first video we will learn how to install TensorFlow and how to create environment and how to install TensorFlow in that particular environment. Second we will install CUDA and CUDNN libraries to use GPU. So in the third step we will download object detection libraries from GitHub. In the fourth step we will, we will install protobuf. Protobuf installation and protocol buff, which we also called as protocol buff. So we need that for the Coco API. And in the next step, we will install Coco API. After Coco API, because in the Coco API we have uh, we have different labels for the pre-trained models, uh, and uh, lastly we will check detection API. So these are all the dependencies we have installed. And in the final step, uh, you will get an error and it's called build.py error. And we will play with that error. And uh, uh, actually, this, we, we got that error due to the TensorFlow. In the first step, we, we are installing uh, TensorFlow 2.5. And later on, when we uh, when we use Solver and uh, different, you, you will learn how to use Solver and all other commands. So actually, it replaces your TensorFlow and, and uh, install a different version of tensorflow which is not compatible with your with your system maybe it will be complete uh, compatible with your system but with my system it was not compatible so you have to uh, you have to upgrade that uh, that tensorflow and in the final step we will discuss coding of object detection i will directly jump into the environment creation and installing tensorflow in that particular environment so let's start object detection and object recognition so uh, for that you have to install um, Visual C++ 2015. So the first step is to install the uh, C++ 2015. Second, we will install Anaconda. Uh, 2019 was working working for me and uh, I will recommend to install this one. It is, uh, for me it was stable. I have tried different one but, uh, but this one was the stable version for me. Uh, next, we will create an environment. Uh, in which we will have to perform this particular uh, object detection. Next, uh, we will uh, install TensorFlow uh, 2.5 uh, 2 to 2.9. You can install any one of that, but uh, I will recommend to install 2.5 uh, in the first step and later on you can upgrade that. I, I, I have installed 2.5 and later I have upgraded that one. <coughs> So uh, in uh, in step four, we will uh, install the dependencies of GPU and uh, like CUDA and download the CUDN and uh, CUDNN libraries. And number five, we will download the TensorFlow model garden uh, in which uh, you can find multiple um, pre-trained model. And uh, in this particular project <coughs> we will focus on mobile net you can find faster rcnn fast rcnn many models like that you can install once you learn how to uh, how to use these these model then later on you can you can use uh, other faster fast rcnn faster rcnn you can use that and sixth number we will install protobuf 
and uh, we will compile that seven we will install google api and uh, number eight we will uh, we will install the uh, object detection api so uh, for all these steps i will highly recommend to follow this particular tutorial and uh, you can you can find each and every dependency in each and every de detail about each and every dependency and each and every um, steps you need to uh, you need for the object detection so i am following this uh, tutorial and uh, we will see how to install uh, python 3.9 then we will go to the uh, we will activate that uh, the that environment and we will install uh, like uh, 2.5 uh, tensorflow and then we will test the uh, like uh, uh, the installation and uh, later we will go to the gpu setting uh, and uh, we, we will verify the gpu uh, tensorflow object detection api installation and protobuf we will have to follow all these steps for the object detection so i will skip uh, anaconda installation because we already know how to install that is simple step and I, uh, so i will jump to the environment creation so in aconda prompt uh, we will have to create a new environment and i i copied that then let's let's give any name like tf uh, object tf object detection okay or simply tf obj okay so uh, let's install that so after installation we will activate this uh, environment activate tf obj okay so now uh, we have installed the python 3.9 so uh, after that we will install the uh, tensorflow uh, you can copy that here you can see pip install pip install uh, uh, tensorflow 2.5 so let's install that so uh, here you can see uh, tensorflow 2.5 has been installed and now we can uh, we can check it python python 3.9.13 and now import tensorflow is tf so now you can see uh, tf dot version dot version so uh, now you can see uh, tensorflow 2.5 has been installed so in the next video we will see how to install the uh, the dependency of uh, the dependencies of uh, gpu like cuda and cudnn thank you so much